Welcome to the Regina Industry Education Council Post-Secondary Spotlight, featuring Keeley Chalk sharing the program offerings in the various campuses that make up Great Plains College. Thank you for tuning in to learn more about Great Plains College. We are one of the eight regional colleges in Saskatchewan. We offer post-secondary certificate, diploma, and degree programs, as well as university courses, safety training, adult basic education and upgrading, and English language training throughout our six campuses. So this presentation will focus primarily on our post-secondary programs. So just can switch the slide here. There we go. So I'd like to start off by acknowledging that Great Plains College provides educational services in Treaty 4 and 6 territories and the traditional homeland of the Métis people. So it is important to note that not all of our locations, as you can see, offer all of our programs, but being placed throughout Southwest and West Central regions of Saskatchewan, we're able to provide education close to home, wherever that may be for you. So you can always search our programs by location on our website as well, as I did go through this slide relatively quickly. So before we continue, I'd just like to go over um, a couple terms that you're going to hear throughout the presentation. So first off, when I refer to a certificate program, that means one year. Um, a post-secondary year is often eight months. If I refer to a diploma program, that means two years. Full-time typically means um, Monday to Friday during the day, and part-time is typically two to three times per week in the evening. Intake dates, you'll see those are when the programs begin. And when I refer to courses, that means specific classes within your program that you would take. Lastly, you're going to see um, on the slides what's called the Credit Granting Institute, and it will be different than Great Plains College. So all this means is that because we, Great Plains College, are not a credit granting institute, we broker our programs from other institutions, allowing you to be able to take the education closer to home. So we just host um, other institutions' programs, and that's all that that means there. So we'll walk through some of this with our Agriculture Science Certificate Program. This program is one year. As you can see, it says certificate there. It's full-time, we offer it in Warman and Swift Current. You can also see some more details on the slides on the screen, like approximate tuition and entrance requirements. I'll leave those for you to read as we go throughout the presentation. I'll focus more on the courses or the classes that you'll take, and as well as what you can do with these programs after you take them. So in this program, a few of the key courses or classes that you'll take are plant science and field crops, economic forces in agriculture, weed and herbicide management, business records and reporting, or pesticide application technologies. After completing this program, you'll be prepared to um, begin your career in agriculture operations or in the retail agriculture sector. You may also decide that you want to continue your, continue your education and transfer into the second year of the Crop Technology Diploma Program through Lakeland College. So a couple different options there. Moving on, we have our Business and Administration Programs. So here we have our Administrative Assistant, Business Certificate, Business Diploma, and Hotel and Restaurant Management. Our Administrative assistant program starts at four different times in the year and runs for nine months. A question I often get asked is if I take the program part-time will I still finish in nine months? The answer is yes. So it's very flexible. It allows you to work while you go to school if that's something you need or want to do and gives you that freedom to start, go hard for nine months, and then you complete your certificate. Back to the specifics in this program, you'll develop your skills in things like data processing, business communications, Excel spreadsheets, and more. Job duties um, may include preparing correspondence, um, 
reports, statements, and other materials, operating office equipment, filing, answering phones. I quite personally am not sure what I would do without our administrative assistant. She keeps me completely organized so the ball doesn't get dropped and I don't miss any um, particular events or things that need to be taken care of. So you can take this certificate and work in any industry that interests you. Interest you. We have alumni who have gone on to work in the oil field, banking, healthcare, or even junior hockey fields. So really anywhere that you want to go. Another great program to take with you to any industry is our business certificate program. Now, I know I'm biased to business. My post-secondary education was in marketing and communications, but I love that the skills you learn in this program are useful in all different aspects of business because you take courses like business mathematics, marketing, commercial law, organizational behavior, business communications, and accounting. So you can work, again, as I said, in any industry you find interesting or fulfilling. And because you have such a broad understanding of the different areas within a company. So you could take this course and choose to further your education on a more broad sense or more narrow focus if there is a particular course you took in this program that interests you. Or you could even take this program and insist yourself, assist yourself in becoming an entrepreneur and running your own business. Or you could apply these credits towards a university degree. Or lastly, take it and decide business is not for me. You've only spent a year, but you have a fantastic resume still to move on to something that you might be more interested in. Interested in. If you decide you want to further your education and focus on management, you can move into our business Diplo diploma in management program. So business management is many things. It's efficient management of people, effective organization of resources, and strategic planning for growth. So if you're someone who likes to be a part of making decisions and figuring out how people work together, then this program is for you. You'll enhance your knowledge in this area through courses like leadership development, talent selection, digital marketing, cross-cultural management, organizational change, and project management. With this diploma, you can start a career in administrative and supervisory jobs in public and privately owned enterprises, crown corporations, or government organizations, or again, run your own business or continue your education. Moving along, we have our hotel and restaurant management program. This is a brand new program in Foreman. It's two years full time and you come out ready for a successful career in the hospitality industry. So you take courses that are super fun. They'll train you in accounting, human resources, sales and marketing, catering and convention management, cooking and food preparation, restaurant planning and management, or hotel front office and housekeeping. So not only in this program do you learn the terminology and theories, but we also um, give you that hands-on experience that you can put on a resume and say, hey, I know the terminology, I know how to talk within this industry, but you can also say that I know how to apply it. And that's going to make you really attractive to employers and move you up those rankings right away. You can take this and work at casinos, convention centers, golf courses, cruise lines, really anywhere that you want, because again, business programs, take them and work where you're interested. Continuing with the idea of serving others, we have our healthcare and humanities programs. So again, four programs in this area, the CCA, ECE, PN, and YCW. I'll go over those abbreviations as we move forward. So in Saskatchewan, the order of healthcare providers goes your registered nurse or your RN, which is a four-year degree, Licensed practical nurse, which is your LPN, which is a two-year diploma, or the CCA or continuing care assistant, which is a one-year certificate. So because we offer certificate and diploma programs, we have the CCA and the practical nursing here. Our continuing care assistant program focuses on learning to work within a team and provide special care for um, people in vulnerable, vulnerable positions. So 
the practicum and hands-on experience that you get with this program focus primarily on the elderly, but you are trained with um, a number of different ages because with this certificate, you may work in home care settings, long-term care facilities, private care homes, supportive housing, or special needs classrooms. Demand for individuals in these positions are high, and I never promise jobs, but it is definitely an industry that is looking to hire as soon as an individual is ready. So something to consider as a rewarding career, being able to give someone the best possible care in a situation that they may be facing. Moving up one level, we have the practical nursing program. This is a two-year program where you receive the training required to write and become a licensed practical nurse in Saskatchewan. So the practicums and hands-on classroom experience in this program train you in medicine, surgery, pharmacology, acute care, pediatrics, and illness prevention, to name just a few. Alumni have said they appreciate graduating from this program with the smaller class size because they were able to physically practice a number of different tasks, like placing a catheter multiple different times before entering the workplace. It gave them the confidence to perform such um, intricate procedures on real patients in real life, and they've been able to carry that on through their career. One last thing I like to note is that this is a competitive entry program for us. So all of our other programs are first qualified, first serve, whereas our practical nursing program is based on highest average and there is a deadline to apply. So I like to mention this in my presentations because I want people to be aware of it and ensure that before they go to apply, they meet all the requirements and have given themselves the best shot at success. So again, another very high demand industry, lots of job opportunities once completing this program. Another program in this area we have is our early childhood education. After completing this program and becoming a certified early childhood educator, you'll work in or with preschool and school age children. And you'll work in places like early learning centers, preschools and private day homes. You'll lead activities that really stimulate and develop their intellectual, physical, and emotional growth. So you are inspiring the minds of young children. The reason you're seeing a lot of varies on the slides is because these courses, these course offerings do vary from year to year depending on demand. So there's three levels of ECE training, and we base our offering off of what is being asked for at that particular time. So you are eligible to work as an early childhood educator with your level one, but that's the minimum base requirement. And there are certain levels you need to pass in order to achieve different levels of service. So the best way to learn more about our ECE program at any given time is to contact a student advisor through our website. Our website is a fantastic place to find out more or again, reach student advisors who can tell you where we're at kind of any given time for this program in particular. The last program we have here is our youth care worker program. So we offer certificate, diploma, and diploma level and full and part time options here. So with this education, you can work as a family support worker, group home staff, program coordinator, or community outreach worker. And within those positions or titles, you may find yourself working in a number of different settings. So community-based child and youth programs, um, parent education and training, family support, school-based programs, recreation programs, therapeutic foster homes, maybe in justice programs or AIDS education and support, even as far as life skills training and community development settings. So pretty wide variety of areas you can work for being a youth care worker and a pretty rewarding career where what you give out, you receive back in having made a difference for those in the community who may need the extra support. Okay, shifting gears now, we'll go through our trades and power engineering programs. 
electrician, welding, and power engineering third and fourth class. Starting off with the electrician program, this program is only four months long and it, it provides the basic skills uh, you need for an entry level job. So when you graduate from the electrician program, you can look for, like I said, an entry level job with electrical contractors who work uh, within construction, the construction industry, both commercial and residential, or look for opportunities within energy, mining, or manufacturing companies, or with retail and wholesale outlets. Um, the electrician is a skills trade, so the more training and hours banked, the more attractive you are to employers, and the more money you can start to earn. So this is the first step towards earning your journey to person's ticket, if that is something you desire within the electrical field. Next up, we have um, our welding program. This is a quick eight month program. It prepares you to perform basic welding, fabrication and repair. Skilled welders are always high in demand uh, in a number of different industries like oil and gas, construction, mining, manufacturing, transportation, you name it. You'll see here that you only need your grade 10 to meet the entrance requirements for this program. However, I personally encourage you to complete your grade 12 for other academic purposes. So um, again, you only need your grade 10, but highly encouraged if it's available to you to complete your grade 12 in case there's something else down the road that you might be interested in. We do offer um, grade 12 upgrading or the classes you need in adult basic education to achieve your grade 12 later on down the road if you so desire. But as you're going through high school, if you're a high school student watching this presentation, we'll work on our grade 12, completing it now if it's available. One last note on this program is at Great Plains College, we have an event that runs every year. It's called Car Hearts and Caviar. It's a fantastic fundraiser for the program as well as our scholarships. And it's a lot of fun because the students within this program get to create something that's then auctioned off and purchased by someone who really wants to use it. It doesn't just go to your house and either, you know, collect dust or just be appreciated by your family. What you create really goes on to be appreciated by someone. So not a lot of institutions get that opportunity and it's a fantastic little plug that we like to use for our welding program and a great thing for our college. Moving on to the power engineering fourth class. Power engineering is divided into levels of training called classes with first class being the highest level. So as you can see, this fourth class would then be a beginner level program. But the training that this program provides, you'll be able to apply for positions that help keep power plants running safely and efficiently. So for example, you could work at a hospital or a hockey rink. You could work in brewer breweries or paper mills, gas processing plants, or fertilizer and chemical plants. You must complete your fourth class before you can be eligible for the third class and so on. So you can either stop here with this fourth class and head into the workforce, or you can continue on into our third class program. So moving up to the third class level allows you to work on all of what I listed before, but also different systems as well. So this then moves you into a higher category and moves you into a higher pay scale. At this level, you're trained and certified to be responsible for heating, air conditioning, ventilation, and refrigeration systems in commercial, institutional, or residential complexes. Um, if you aren't interested in working on those types of systems, you can also put your knowledge to work in the industrial or mechanical design and sales area. There's a ton of emphasis in these programs, the fourth and third class, on not just learning the material in the classroom, but applying it, because a part of this career and a part of this job, job description is being able to problem solve. So in order to be successful, we need to train you to be able to apply what you learn and adapt it to a bunch of different situations that you may see. So the way these power engineering programs are designed, we really do set you up for success. The last program I want to touch on before I buzz through some last important information is our university program. 
if you are someone who is wanting to pursue a four-year degree, but maybe it, you're not quite ready to handle moving to a larger city center, then staying somewhere small like Swift Current might be an option for you because you can take your first year with us. So how this works is if you're interested in taking any of these four degrees that you see here or classes towards degrees in these categories, then you apply to one of our partner schools, so the University of Saskatchewan in Saskatoon or the University of Regina. And once you are accepted through those universities, you apply to our university program where you are connected to a student advisor who then reaches out and helps you build your class schedule so that you can complete your classes from here in Swift Current. Now, some of you be, may be thinking, heck no, I'm out of here if you're listening from Swift Current, or you're in a small town and you think, no, I got to go big. That's fine. But consider some of the benefits of staying small. You can get to know your professors. Half the battle in university, myself knowing from been there, is learning how to write your instructor's exams. So because of that, if you get to know your instructors, you'll be able to know how they write their exams and then therefore be, a, be able to perform better on their evaluations. You can ask student supports, you can access student supports and become closer with your peers. Again, making it more comfortable for you to ask questions and get to know more of your material. It's an easier transition from high school. You aren't thrown into an auditorium of 100 students and your name is just a number to your instructor just trying to file through your exam scores. It saves you costs because maybe you get to live at home rent free or with a relative or rent is more affordable in a smaller city center than it is in a larger city. And then this last one here is a big one. You get to maximize your scholarship potential. So you are able to benefit from the U of S or U of R scholarships, as well as our entrance scholarships that I'll talk about in just a second. So all this together, reducing your stress, giving yourself access to better um, ask questions and things like that, taking away external stress. I know for me in university, finding a grocery store in a new city was extremely stressful. You can avoid all that. Um, I don't know why it was, it just was but that will just continue to build and give you that confidence that you can carry on through your next three years as you make those larger transitions. So just a little something to think about there. In addition to our post-secondary programs at Great Plains College, we also offer micro-credentials or Ed2Go courses. These are um, one-off courses you register for yourself on your free time. You can use them as resume builders or professional development pieces to apply for raises or move up within your current place of employment. So use your spare time to increase your attractiveness to employers or your current employer. Our other line cor online courses we offer are our cybersecurity programs. These are one-off courses, again, in a number of different levels that can be used to better your resume or start your career in cybersecurity. There's a ton of information on each and every single program that's listed here on our website. They're very in depth and it's something that you can use as a tool to help you decide if this might be something for you. Skills and safety training is the last offering I wanna to touch on. There are courses that you may need or may be required to have to even apply for specific jobs if you're thinking you don't want to pursue post-secondary education and just head into the workforce after high school, just know that we are here to provide those programs that you may need to, as I said, even apply or that may become required down the road from your employer. The last major topic here is scholarships. We have one of the best scholarship programs of the regional colleges colleges in Saskatchewan, it's something we are very proud of. You are automatically considered for an entrance scholarship or early entrance award when you apply to a full-time student loan eligible program before the deadline. So, for example, today is February 16th, 2023. 
If you're a grade 12 student with an 86 average, we'll say, and you want to apply to the full-time business certificate program, that starts in September 2023. So coming up here in a few months. Great. All you have to do is fill out an application form, submit your most recent transcript, pay your application fee of $75, and do all of this before April 30th. Bam. Now you're eligible for based off this scale here, 1500 bucks just for applying. There was no extra survey you had to fill out, no extra questionnaire, essay you had to write, nothing. We are providing you with the funds to alleviate some financial pressure that you might have in order to succeed in post-secondary. If you're a grade 11 tuning in and you decide that one of the full-time programs I talked about today is for you, and you have at least a 70% grade average and apply before June 30th, so the end of your grade 11 year, you are then eligible for an entrance award of $1,000. So how that works is if you then decide in grade 12 that yes, 100% Great Plains College is where I'm going, you apply or you reach out to student services, confirm that you would like to come to our schooling, you're then if you do it before April 30th, you're then eligible for entrance scholarships. You add that to your early entrance award and say you're in that 95% average range, you would have $5,000 plus $1,000. That gives you $6,000 towards your post-secondary education. And if you were watching the approximate tuition as we were going through, you can see that that would pay for a lot of the schooling that we offer. So just a note there that we want you to succeed not only in the classroom, but in life as well. And that means taking and relieving financial pressures. So to wrap things up, I know I went through things pretty quickly. Hopefully you can pause and go back if you like. If you were interested in anything that I chatted about today, head over to our website, apply, ask more questions, or browse around to learn more about what we might have for you. Reach out on social media. If you're not sure where to find the answers or who to ask to, we can direct you from there. And just know that Hope's Secondary is meant to be fun and rewarding. It may feel a little bit stressful or intimidating right now as you're gathering information, but just take that first step and ask that first question and then you'll be well on your way to navigating your post-secondary career. So thank you for listening and again, pause and go back if there's something you missed or reach out through any of these social media channels or our website and we're more than happy to help you learn more about Great Plains College. If you're a student watching this video, please fill in the short survey on our website for a chance to win a $50 gift card and give us some valuable feedback.